Greetings. I'm introducing a new Comfy UI workflow called Morph. With its help, the workflow can create up to 20 images using 20 prompts and then generate a video with smooth transitions between the images. Let's select the Morph workflow from the Comfy UI Studio workflow list and activate the first workflow group called Aging Female. There are a total of six example workflows. The first one is called Aging Female. Here, 20 prompts are used with increasing age in each prompt, resulting in 20 images of an aging woman. These images are then compiled into a video, with smooth transitions between them using morphing node called Rife. Deactivate this workflow group and activate the next one, which is called Aging Male. Upload a face image, write 20 prompts that will style our face image and thus create 20 images that will alternate with each other using morphing transitions. The next workflow group is the segment morph. The segment node automatically selects the object based on a word. For example, we selected the vase with the word vase and styled it in 20 different ways using prompts. This allows us to quickly and accurately select objects in the image without needing a mask. I'll show you how to use the sunglasses workflow group. Upload a photo, right click on it and select the open in mask editor option. Mask the area you want to change. In this case, the areas around the eyes. Once you're done, you can start the process. The final result will be a video animation where 20 different pairs of sunglasses will alternate with morphing transitions. The next one is the hairstyle morph. Here, using a mask, we will select the hair and the predefined prompt will consist of 20 different hairstyles. This way, we will get an animation featuring alternating hairstyles. The next workflow group is called Clothes. By using a mask to select the clothing, we can create an animation featuring alternating outfits. I will show you how to properly mask the subject. Right-click on the image and select the Open in Mask Editor option. Try to mask only the clothing part, extending a bit into the background. And that's it you can start generating the animation. I will show you how to use the settings. If you change the number in this node from 20 to 2, only the first two prompts will be generated and animated. When the ping pong function is enabled, the animation will go through the images in order and then reverse back to the first, creating an infinite loop. If disabled, the animation will run from the first to the last image and then start over from the beginning. You can set how many frames the transitions between images should have using the Rife node. If you set it to 5 frames, the animation will be faster. You can also adjust the video frame rate. Increasing the frame rate will make the animation faster, while lowering it will slow down the animation.
The aging female workflow uses the instant ID node. If we reduce its strength, the prompt will have a stronger influence than the uploaded image, making the generated photo less similar to the person. However, this will make the aging effect more noticeable. Thank you for watching. See you in the next update.